Hey everybody, I'm Chris Blakeman. Thanks for tuning into our YouTube channel. So we just got done with the big sewing machine event. We have a very special guest here. Thank you. We're very lucky to have Martha Poland with us. You, you gave some great presentations, thank Martha. You, I loved it. I loved it. Your audience, your customers were so incredible. I was just hugging all of them when they left. It was just a bunch of new friends today. And a few friends that I knew before. Oh, so sweet. So much fun. Thank you both of you for inviting me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah, and we had a good group of people. We did. We had a really good group of people. Yeah. And yeah. we laughed and we we laughed and carried on and, <laughs> and they, they got their projects finished. Everyone finished a project. And when we got halfway finished, they put hats on, put it on their head. Oh okay. yeah. I mean we really <laughs> had fun. And I liked I liked to have fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody so needs fun. to have fun when we come to sewing. Sewing is fun. We're not sewing for heart trouble. We're not sewing for our horrible things. We're sewing for fun. We, yeah. don't, we don't come here to get upset, do we? No. no, everybody leaves happy, especially yeah. with your presentation at the end. Everybody was laughing, people were crying. People were uh, crying. There was a whole was range. <laughs> we got the whole range of the experience. I mean, it was great. It's okay to laugh and cry. Yep. Yeah. Sure. And also pray. You know, I love to pray. Mm -hmm. I pray. I pray. We pray for our meals, and sure. I would give God the credit for this incredible thing yeah. that's just happened. I just love being with you two, two Thank young you. people. Nice to have young people in the industry. I want you to know that. You're young at heart. Well, I'm very young at heart, but it's nice to <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're, you're like 20 years old, you know, yeah, that. it's like your spirit is <laughs> My spirit is that, and not that's how it feels. So. And Lisa gave a presentation too? Oh, it was one. Listen, Lisa, you are the next greatest thing to take. I want Lisa to go ahead and get, she has projects done, in the hoop projects. Or you know, you have to talk to her now. Tell her we want those projects to be sold. So they're finished, they have all the, the goodies in them, plus a video. In the hoop, she's a master at in the hoop. Thanks. We love in the hoop, really. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most popular things in the industry. So I want all of you to say, okay, Lisa, Martha told us that you're going to have projects to buy. When can we buy those projects? <laughs> Are you with me? Yes. Say I've already told the whole world. Okay, so <laughs> I'm ready to do it. Tell me what you're working on. So right now I'm working on an in the hoop cord case, and I've done zipper bags, I've done book covers, um, Christmas, luggage tags. Christmas yeah, Christmas stuff. stockings. Christmas yeah. Stuff. What, what, those little tags, those luggage tags are uh -huh. so cute. Yep. Or what else? Um, I've got... Little purses. The purses, yep. With, with zippers, without zippers. With, with zippers, without zippers, crochet hook cases, pen cases. So I've got lots of fun things and we're going to put it all and out. No, didn't you have some that had notebooks? Uh-huh, yep, notebook covers, yeah. I love, I, I keep one of those in my purse. I really love oh, those so yeah, much. Oh yeah, they're fun, yeah. And it's all customizable too. And so your six new projects are a travel set? Yep, my six new ones are a travel set. I love set. that. Since I and what do they all include again? Uh, there's going to go, there's one that's not in the hoop, it's a hair towel that has a silk lining to protect your hair from terry cloth. Um, then there's a travel journal cover with some cut work in it. There's a cord case. There's a toothbrush um, cover with vinyl inside to, oh, I love that. Yeah, to protect your fabric from your toothpaste and your wet toothbrush. You can put it right in. Okay. And a hot iron travel case so you can put your hot iron away right after you've done your hair. It has all that protective. Uh -huh. And it's got all the protective stuff so you can pack it away and you don't have to worry about burning anything or burning your cord. And then there is a... Shampoo oh. or, or hairspray or anything? Uh, well, no, not a, I have a, a cord case so to pack up all your cords when you fly on the plane and I your USB love sticks. A cord case. Uh huh. Lose, I have six in my purse right oh. now. The, <laughs> the iPad, the iPhone, uh -huh. the, the watch, uh, and, and maybe two or three extras because I always forget. Right? <laughs> yeah, so you can store them all the way and then there's a zipper in there and it all okay, ties together. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yep, just don't poke them in the zip a bit, okay? <laughs> when are we going to teach them? Um, at the end of October, on I believe the 26th and 27th. Cool. Yep, on the weekend. Awesome. Yep. Yep. So it's going to be a two-day event, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It will be my first event, so I hope. <laughs> All right. So we're really looking forward to the class. Yes. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's exciting. Yes. You have a two-day class <laughs> in the hoop, and and just the fact you're doing those beautiful projects that I saw, I got I wanted to come to that class. So you think I'd come back to Colorado? Yeah. <laughs> come back anytime. But those other classes that you're having too are going to be fabulous. Yeah. We have a whole lot of things lined up. Absolutely. We've got a lot of fun educators coming, including uh, Joy Mahone. Who, does who fitting can classes. teach you how to fit clothes, believe it or not. Yes, I'm not telling you a story, okay? Very talented. She's taught at my schools many times. Excellent. Yeah, and we've had her one time before in our Boulder store, uh, and everybody loved the class. Well, of course they do. She's Everybody so enjoyed it. And they walked away learning a lot and going home to do some of that stuff, too, to fit their own clothes and to do their own fitting as well. They're going to learn uh, some jacket fitting, so they're going to learn how to do some sleeves, and then they're going to be doing a little bit of fitting um, with trousers. 
Mm-hmm. And aren't you having Kim back? Kim Goldup Graham is coming back in November, all the way from Australia, and we had her we had her back in February. Totally filled up the classroom because what she teaches is so unique. It's so different than what else is out there as far as her circular uh, embellishments, where she lines up patterns using specialized rulers that are not they're patented, and no one else has anything like it. You can use those rulers for sewing techniques, embroidery techniques. Um, There's more than just circular embellishments too. She does different angles. Uh, and puts them all together. She has heirloom quilting with it. Uh, she'll do embellishments on garments. I mean, she brings samples that fill up all the walls in the classroom. It's jaw dropping. They're gorgeous. They and it's so nice move. that you're going to the expense of bringing someone here from Australia. Oh, because it is a big expense. Mm-hmm. And she loves to come to America. She's just one of my dear, dear, dear friends. I've known her a long time. And her dates are totally filled when she comes. Well, don't you know? She, we're very lucky we got to work with her because she came to us right away and said, hey, I'm coming back, so I'd love to schedule some dates with you. So in November, well, the date's in the comment thread. November uh, 2nd and 3rd. November 2nd and 3rd, yeah. Yep. And you can That's sign just up, the uh, short just time click the link. Yep. Yep, it's gonna, it's coming right around the corner, mm-hmm. and she is so great. She's got an Australian accent, has a lot of funny oh, stories. She's so sweet. Best she's stories. very entertaining. She's really nice too. She's mm-hmm. a nice person. Yes, genuine and, and nice. Okay. Yes. You know what we were talking about too is this unbelievable new machine. Laurel, the new machine, the new machine. We sold them a lot this week. Yep. Didn't yep. We sold like five <laughs> machines this last week. And the, the new XP one, the Luminaire. Um, we sold some at the last event. We sold some at the event before that at Embroidery Garden with Reen. We did six projects, uh, which was a lot of projects, but it was a lot of fun uh, and inspired a lot of people too. It was a lot of inspiration, good inspiration. You know what? I think every one of you that loves to sew, I think you deserve a new sewing machine. I believe a new sewing machine is not even a luxury. I think that's a, a mental health necessity. You know, <laughs> women, why do you sew, okay? I sew because it's cheaper than a psychiatrist, and honestly, I, I'm being very serious about that. The stress relief that I don't, I don't, if I'm bothered about something, I sit down at the machine, I'm not bothered about it anymore. And that's the fun. Then we sew for creativity. I've never been an artist, I'm not an artist, but guess what? I am an artist when I'm at that sewing machine. And by the way, the things that you're making, uh, all kinds of things, from quilting to everything else, they're Rembrandt paintings as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. It is such a joy that anyone can be an artist this machine and they do so many things y'all you can even take your grandmother's recipe and her handwriting put it down make a little picture of it on the machine put it on fabric and you will sew out your grandmother's recipe and her handwriting that is called priceless gift for those of you that are doing home-based business too that is unpicked oh, I want my grandmother's recipe sewn out I'm gonna make put it in a picture frame or I'm gonna give detail to all the children they're gonna sit there and cry when they open it Okay, the other thing, now you know, I'm a grandmother. Now, all of you grandmothers know what that word means. It is wonderful. Okay, so I think my grandchildren do the most beautiful art in the world. I don't think Joe thought it was quite as good as I did. You put, yes, I'm putting that picture on my refrigerator. However, now then, you can take your grandchild's art, do that little photograph right there on the machine, take it out, and you can do your grandchildren's art on a T-shirt for your grandchild. Okay, we have one little girl out in Oklahoma. The grandmother did that. She took the t-shirt home, the little girl put it on, and she would not wear anything else. <laughs> so the mom had to wash that shirt every single night, and the grandmother soon made a few more t-shirts. Yeah. It is so much fun to make things that our grandchildren absolutely love to wear, and our friends, and I like to make gifts, to tell you the truth. I picture from the christening dress, as you know. I'm working right now, you come working on I'm working on a christening dress. The young, the young surgeon, I had a little breast cancer earlier in the year, and my young surgeon who took out the lumps and got it all, was eight months pregnant when she operated on me. And I asked her, I said, do you have a christening dress? And she said, no. I said, don't you worry, you'll have a christening dress. So I am personally wow. working wow. on a christening dress for Dr. Audrey Tadros, one of the most ta- talented um, um, cancer surgeons in the country. And she's going to be thrilled. Her little girl's name is Scarlett. Aww. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen her yet, I haven't met her yet. But it was incredible that she said, I don't have one. So that was one thing I could do for her as the beautiful surgery she did for me. <laughs> it's a beautiful story. Yeah, it is a beautiful that's story. Really but good. that's what I'm working on at the sewing machine. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, I also made some teapot, made some teapot totem poles, which is an Australian thing. So I did two days with glue gun, but you know what, y'all? <laughs> glue gun doesn't cut it. And I did use liquid nails outside 
but it does not compare to making a Christian dress on the sewing machine. Yeah. So I think I'm through with that glue gun. Yeah. <laughs> no more glue gun project. On to no, the not, onto the heirlooms. Not this year, but I do have some cute teapot totem poles. Go That's good. Home. You think you get a stand, you just glue teapots. It's really kind of cute. Again, the Australian friends. Tell Kim I'll make a teapot totem I will. <laughs> yeah. Teapot totem poles. Liquid, I mean glue, but no more glue. I'm kind of tired of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be lace and batiste now for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, and so we have two more Floriani lectures coming up. Uh, in we love Floriani. That's oh, who, yeah. That's who brings me out. Yeah. Thank you, R&K, and thank you, Floriani. Yeah, thank you, Rick and Kate. Thank you, thank great you. Great events, great projects. <laughs> um, I mean, this great. project was great. We looked at so it. So um, you know, Judy Friedenberg was our incredible educator Amazing. that taught that. Yep. And she got everyone through that project. Yep, enough. a lot of good you techniques about in the project. And yeah. Everybody wore this as a hat. <laughs> it was a beautiful hat. Everybody looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Before you put the bottom on it. Uh huh. Yep, everybody oh, put it on so their heads funny. and it was hilarious. Well, you'll put the pictures on your website. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. Put we're laughing. Comments. We have yeah. too much fun at these events. So much fun. We're laughing so hard they can hardly finish their projects. <laughs> yeah, we had people putting the stuffing in their shirts, putting the stuffing in their. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't tell, the best don't tell all the fun we have. We must not let that happen. <laughs> I mean, nothing happened here. Was, no, no, was just, just good stuff. stuff. <laughs> just good stuff. Just good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for tuning into our channel. You can follow us on uh, like and subscribe if you follow us here. Like and subscribe on YouTube, and you can also follow us at our Facebook page at Blakeman Sovac. Uh, there's a link in the description as well. If you go to our website www.blakemansovac.com, you can subscribe can to our newsletter. New Etsy store? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Martha Etsy. Pullen has an Etsy store. New Etsy store. Yeah. Martha Campbell Pullen. I've only had it a week. And I had a nice young man that came down and did put it up for me. Now I can do it. That's hard. For me. But I have a new Etsy store. So if you want to come visit me at Martha Campbell Pullen at Etsy, come over and say hello. There's a link in the description. <laughs> Look at the link from Martha. Okay. Check it out. I'm sure there's amazing things on there. Well, there will be when I get home and have time to put them up. You gotta post it. Yeah, I gotta right post now, it. Right now, there's not much on there. But still, it's all been I mean, sold. <laughs> yeah, you're you're the queen of heirloom sewing. I'm sure you're gonna have some great heirloom stuff on yeah, there. Antique yeah. things. Or you have right. a, antique. Have things. antique things is what I'm selling. Okay. Actually. Excellent. Excellent. I'm sure that I have a collection of about 600 pieces, and I don't have a use for 600 pieces. So I want to let the people that have loved what we've done and love watching you will get to have them too. I'm selling. <laughs> you'll have to look at it. You'll have to you'll have to follow the link in the description for sure. Um, email me at info at blakemansovac.com if you have any sewing machine questions or sewing sewing questions or anything like that. I want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. And uh, definitely comment in the comment threads if you have anything. If you have any questions for Martha, I'm sure. Um, you know, you could you comment in the comment thread. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I will answer, you know, I love to talk. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's great. Well, Martha's gonna be out there. Martha's gonna be talking to the public. We got the internet now. We have the internet. Oh, I love it. Yeah. All right. All right. So thanks. <laughs>